His programs like nutrition and as a member of the Senate Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition, and Forestry play. And I've worked very hard, uh, as Susan says, to try to make sure that we have a fair and balanced approach to the issue of nutrition. Our nutrition assistance programs play a key role in ensuring that needy Americans have access to food they need to lead healthy, productive lives. And there is a dramatic difference in the right kind of food and the wrong kind of food, whether you're talking about school lunch program or the breakfast program or whether you're talking about the SNAP program. Um, we've just gone through a farm bill over here on the Senate side. And uh, we just had one come out of committee on the House side. We've got very, uh, very uh, uh, number of differences um, between the two bills. There's a great variance between the amount of money and the SNAP program and the House passed uh, committee bill and the bill that came out of the Senate. I'm not sure where that's going to wind up. Uh, but one thing I do believe, number one, we've got to make sure that those people who are needy, uh, who are on food stamps, are going to have the availability of those food stamps for the period of time that they need them. And we've seen a huge increase, obviously, in the number of participants in the food stamp program since 2008. But there's been a reason for it, and we all know what that reason is. What I have said, though, is that as we move through this farm bill, and this is a five-year farm bill, it's not a one-year bill or not a ten-year bill, uh, but over the next five years, our economy is going to improve, and we've got to encourage people to, to provide the right kind of nutrition for their families through the SNAP program, and while at the same time preparing them to get back into the workplace and hopefully ultimately come off the SNAP program. And we've got to be judicious in how we approach that issue. And I don't know what the right formula is, I don't know what the right number is on the funding, but I know this, uh, even though the House took a bigger bite out of the SNAP program than we did on the Senate side, there are an awful lot of people on the House side, on both sides of the aisle, who are committed to making sure that the SNAP program functions in the right way. Another issue that's been of particular importance to me and, and one that Blanche and I worked on as a part of our, uh, our bill is this issue of childhood obesity. Uh, again, this group knows much better than I do because you see it uh, uh, on, a, on a regular basis that the obesity we see in children is one thing, but what happens uh, if we don't cure it when they're, when they're children is that the older they get, the more problems they incur, and thus the more they depend on the federal government for various health care issues. <coughs> the time to teach those children a time to teach those people is when they are children about the issue of obesity. I wish that uh, we could all go into the various households of, of families that are struggling and who don't pay attention to this issue of childhood obesity. We could solve a lot of problems by doing that, but we know that's not going to happen. So we have to try to do it by the establishment of the right kind of policies with respect to the families that benefit from our various programs. And I was pleased to work with, uh, with Michelle Obama, and I commend her for the, her commitment and her emotion that she showed during the discussions that we had inside and outside the White House itself on this issue as we approached the development of our bill. And at the end of the day, I think we came up with the right kind of compromises to ensure that, that we're doing the best job that we can as policymakers to address the obesity issue try to make sure that, that uh, not only do children have that, as I said earlier, food on the table, but the right kind of food. Um, we're, um, uh, we're going through some very difficult budget times, no question about it. Uh, but at the end of the day, there are various policies and various programs that, that the federal government um, uh, has to provide for those families that are struggling. And as we look at SNAP, as we look at our other nutrition programs, whether they're for children, whether they're for adults, or who they may be for, we're going to strive hard in a bipartisan way to try to make sure that at the end of the day, that the policy that's developed for each individual and particular program suits the, the population and the targeted group to which those programs are dedicated. It's folks like you who can help us do that. 
uh, some of you are on the front lines of these issues that we're dealing with with respect to these programs. We need your input. We need the conversation with you and from you about how we approach from the policy side these various programs. So uh, I hope you will feel free to talk not just to your member of the Senate or your member of the House, but to all of us who are involved in these issues, particularly those of us who are on the, the uh, Ag Committee because we have primary jurisdiction of this issue. And uh, Washington, more often than not, does not know better about how to develop these programs. We have to depend on you, and believe you me, we listen to you. So I hope you'll feel free, uh, now that, you, uh, that you've seen me, you've put a face with a name, uh, I would welcome conversation with you as, as we go through, not just the Farm Bill, but there are gonna be many other programs every year that each of you have an interest in that we're gonna be dealing with on the policy side. And I would appreciate hearing from you as we move forward. Thank you for letting me share some thoughts with you. Thanks for the great work that you do. God bless you. May God continue to bless our group.